Hi guys. I don't want to do an intro because sometimes I feel like intros are so unnecessary, but let's just get to the nitty gritty. Subscribe. Like this video because I ran, literally rushed to Sephora to pick up the Fenty Beauty skin tint so I can, you know, hurry, try it on. See how it works throughout the day, how it applies, and see if it's worth your money. So if you have dry skin, you want to know how this works, how this applies, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we go in with anything, you guys, the sun is up. It's gonna be 60 degrees today. Ooh, it means I'm going outside. I'm going to wear sunscreen, so I'm gonna use the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And I wanna use the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Filter Primer as well. Ooh, this stuff really is so freaking good. One of the best primers I have ever used for dry skin. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that. I wonder if I should apply the SPF first, and then this? No, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty one first. I had no idea this would be coming out so soon. Skin tint, I just placed a huge fancy order last week and this hadn't released yet. And my shade is in the shade number seven. I have a light to medium skin tone with a neutral undertone. This packaging is definitely um, just more casual than a lot of her other foundations, which is totally fine. And I think that actually helped with the price because the price is only what, I think it's like 29, yeah, $29.50. The name is super cute, it's the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I'm so excited to try this out. From all the pictures I've seen on Sephora, it looks like this is a more of a mattifying blurring. It might be better for uh, somebody with combination to oily skin, but we're gonna try it out with a dry skin. And then it says either use your hands or a brush. I'm just gonna use a brush because I love using brushes. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Airbrush number 110. And it sets me to layer with your skincare primer, which is perfect because I use quite a bit of those. So let's just go ahead and get into this. What I've noticed with skin tints is usually they are just, they soak up a lot faster and easier. And so I usually never use a sponge because it's just gonna, you're just gonna go through tons of products. It's like a little squeezy tube, super travel friendly. Put some of that on my brush. Let me show you guys a swatch real quick in case you're looking for a shade. So that's what that shade is and that is number seven. Super light, really light. I kinda wanna just put it right on my skin. shade match really I'm noticing is you can see the blurring effect I do have some blemishes right here um, it doesn't seem to be oxidizing at all I do feel like I'm using quite a bit of product so I'm just gonna go in with my hands see if we get a better effect Yeah, I feel like you definitely get a little bit more coverage if you use your fingers. This side has the skin tint on, this side does not. I think this is the most lightest coverage skin tint I have ever used. I use the Milk Makeup Skin Tint quite often, and I do feel like this one has a little bit more coverage. It's just ever so light. You're not getting that dewy effect with this at all, but it doesn't claim to. This has a natural finish. So far, I'm not quite sure what I think. I need to definitely bring this back to life with a setting spray, um, just to kind of make things a little bit more dewy. But so far, it's definitely a finish I haven't quite used. I think the most similar thing to this, in my opinion, is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Very kind of similar textures, but completely different ingredient list. So let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this to my face, and then we'll see how it looks. So it's been applied to my entire face. This is really easy to apply. I just recommend using your hands. Fingers, easy. Definitely still think that this is something that's going to be way better if you have oily combination skin. It is a little bit hard to blend out in certain areas, like the nose. What I'm noticing is with me for dry skin, this just kind of seems like it's sitting on the surface. I'm just gonna keep this really lightweight and go in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer as well as a cream blush as well. I just finished applying my cream bronzer and concealer and something that was so shocking that I really wasn't expecting to happen was this was so, my cream bronzer was so hard to blend out on this, but it was like skipping 
And I think it's because the finish of this tint is so different. It's that blurring effect. Whatever ingredient is in there that creates that blurring effect was creating the skipping. So it's been a little difficult, not even a little bit. It's been a really difficult to work with. This is where we're at right now. I am going to keep trying it throughout the week and see how it wears. Um, today is obviously going to be a very just like first impressions wear test. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing an end of the month foundation recap on thoughts and how it's worked when I've used this product. Okay, this is with all the rest of the makeup on. I actually really didn't go in with a lot of things. The only thing I use to, it's this Dose of Colors Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium Tan. I did it very close to my skin tone. I didn't want it to be too of a brightening effect. And then I very lightly, just ever so lightly set everything with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And this is in the shade Luminous Light because I did feel like it just needed a little bit of a set to start blending powders on it. And also to bring, that honestly is what brought this more back to life to make it look more luminous than just straight natural matte. With my blush, I went in with my cream blush by Fenty and I used, I have this other one here. Oh, here it is. And I use the Rose Latte and I put that in my crease as well just to add some of that like dewy dimension. You can see that. And bronzer, I just very lightly put in my, I can't find anything. Here it is. <laughs> my Hourglass Radiant Light Bronzer, just ever so lightly right here. You know, just to add just a little bit of depth. I'll just have everything linked down below. I use my Patrick Top Brow Wax. And then for lips, I use my Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss in the shade D Glow. And it's just a gloss bomb, but it's the cream version. And so with everything on it, and then I did lightly spray my Farsali Gold uh, Mist. So I have a few tips for you. My first tip is if you don't want this to be dewy and luminous, just leave it how it is. Go in with a powder bronzer just to add some dimension. The end, you're done, because it has that blurring matte natural effect. But if you're someone like me who has dry skin, who wants to make this work for dry skin, I would highly recommend a setting mist, a luminous powder, and a cream blush, because that's really what brought this all back to life. The cream blush did blend out so well on top of the powder. So far, the skin tint, I think it looks really nice and natural on the skin and it looks great on dry skin if you do those few things to it. But the major test is going to be how does this wear throughout the day? Does it transfer really easily? And will all that work be worth it with how this doesn't blend super well with a cream contour? So we'll see. I'm gonna start my timer for the wear test here and we're just gonna freaking see how it works throughout the day. I'm here for the first check-in. I'm trying to find a good spot. The lighting is, oh, the lighting. It's just, it's all over the place. Okay, so I'm here with my first check-in. We did go to church today and I wore a mask for about an hour. It's not, it doesn't transfer super easily, but it's definitely not transfer proof. So keep that in mind. I do feel like that this gives my skin just like a natural luminosity. I don't know how much of that is my setting mist, my setting powder, or if it's the actual product itself. Uh, I do feel like it's very skin-like. It's probably the most skin-like product I have, but we're just gonna keep on seeing how it wears for a few more hours and go from I there. I thought I'd just hop down here really quick and do my final thoughts on this skin tint. The, it's been on for about seven and a half hours, so almost eight hours, and this is what it is looking like. So it's definitely still on my skin, and I actually feel like it looks really natural, really lightweight, and very skin-like, so I'm really happy with that. I just don't know how much of it has to do with the products I used at the end, my setting mist, my really light setting powder. Some problems I did have with this skin tint just blendability after applying. This isn't a skin tint I would say that you can just use with your fingers, put on and just be done. You still had to add some depth and dimension with other makeup products in order to create a more 3D dimensional, like, you know, shape. Like, cause you kind of want your cheekbones to pop. And because of its blurring effect, it makes it very flat. So with that, if you have like an oily T-zone or anything like that that you want blurred, you could just use that there. But if you use this on your whole face, you're definitely going to have to use other products as well. Oily skin, I can't imagine this breaking up on you because it's kind of breaking up on me like right here. 
but not in the bad way. Like my normal oils are coming through. But if you had super oily skin, which is what I'm thinking people are combination of oily skin is going to be gravitating towards so they can like get rid of that shine and just give that that blur. But I don't think it will last a super long time for you if you have those kind of skin types. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep trying it out. I just really wanted to get this video filmed and up for you guys so you can know first impression wise. But in three weeks, I will be back with an update and I will let you guys know exactly how I'm feeling then and I'll be trying it a few other ways. So let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments down below. But if not, I will see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching. Bye.